It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Course and Donk Christmas Ale coming in at 8.1% ABV and it's in a 25 centilitre bottle. Quite a small little bottle for Christmas. Uh, we have a blue bottle cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa, look at that smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Typical Belgian little hiss there from the carbonation. Belgian beers are, I would say, generally quite livelier than, than, than other styles of beer from other countries around the world. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? I'm not surprised that this has got a lot of carbonation being, being a Belgian beer. We might as well get on them with the review. I mean, there is some in the bottle. But as we have it, we got a nice, relatively clear mahogany style beer, good levels of carbonation, two finger tan coloured head. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, largest online beer, uh, largest online beer store in the UK, with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of the video. On we go with the aroma. Very Christmassy, very Christmassy. Spicy, some ginger, maybe some cinnamon. Belgian candied sugar, Belgian candied fruits, I call it. It's more um, fruity Belgian yeast, uh, Belgian candied sugar. Yeah, it's good stuff. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Maybe a touch of licorice and a, lunch, and a touch of peppermint in this one. Very, very interesting brew. Very interesting brew. Carbonation indeed bursts on the palate. Loads of kind of flavour bursting off that carbonation. The beer sits on the palate quite well. There's toffee notes. There's, there's lots of Belgian yeast notes coming through. Uh, I call it Belgian candied sugar. I kind of always have. Um, I should really change my, my way of presenting a beer, certainly a Belgian one. It's more the yeast that gives off this lovely fruity flavor from the beer. A yeast forward beer in terms of flavor. It is peppery, it is spicy. Certainly goes down well as a Christmas beer. I like their blonde, Course and Donk blonde. I like their, I think they do a triple as well or a double. Had a few of their beers now. Um, what do they say? They've called it a, a brown ale, Dunkel's beer or a Cerveza Negra. Dark beer. It's good. It's good. It's it, it's one of them beers that is produced at Christmas time. Um, we want something a little bit spicy, a little bit drinkable, a little bit different for this time of the year. It's generally cold. Um, you want something that's going to warm your cockles, maybe put a smile on your face in the middle of a cold winter's night, especially before Christmas. <laughs> And hear that carbonation coming back now. I'd buy it again. This is the type. This is the type of Christmas beer that I would have my Christmas dinner. That carbonation is definitely coming back. Let's rate it. Mm. 
nice mouthfeel. Biscuity, bready, slightly nutty, spicy. There's a touch of vanilla. There's a touch of kind of like a peppermint stroke licorice flavour. Uh, a medium to drinkable mouthfeel. Carbonation bursts all over the palate, like like generally most Belgian beers do. Um, the head's kept itself nicely as I've been drinking the beer. It's a very good beer. It's a very good beer. It's an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers!